If you're an aspiring medical student or you already are a medical student, you're probably starting to have a little think about what type of doctor you might want to be. I know that I've been thinking about it since my first day pretty much in medical school and so far I've been heading down the track of thinking I want to be a surgeon. This video is not going to be about how to choose what type of doctor you want to be. Instead, I'm going to focus on what I want to do. So it's going to be a bit of a selfish video. I'm going to be talking about the things that you should start to do as a medical student if you want to be considered for those super competitive surgery jobs when you finally become a doctor. My name is Connor Diblin. I'm a final year medical student currently studying at King's College London. And please subscribe to the channel. I make videos about medical school, about studying. And in a little less than a year's time, it's going to be videos about being a doctor. You might be wondering, as a medical student, why do I need to be making a video like this? Why do I even need to be thinking about doing things towards becoming a surgeon instead of just getting on with finishing medical school? It's hard enough, surely. Surgery, among the specialties, is hands down one of the most competitive. There are many different types of surgery, but to get into a surgical training in the UK, you have to be very competitive in your application. I'm not gonna go into the details about the different ways that they rank you or the different points that make that up. We're just gonna be focusing in this video about what you can be doing as a medical student to building that application. I do also wanna point out that if you don't do any of these things as a medical student, you can still absolutely become a very successful surgeon or any other type of doctor. Getting through medical school is hard enough in itself. It's a full-time job and any of these extra things that you're doing are just as it sounds, extra. Before we get into that, I think it's worth talking a little bit about why I want to do surgery. There are lots of different professions you can do as a doctor, and to be honest, I think that's why medicine is so fantastic. As a medical student, you really get your eyes opened. There is just an insane amount of different things you can do after medicine, and only a fraction of those are even being a practicing doctor. In terms of practicing medicine and being a practicing doctor, generally that's grouped into four categories. You've got general practice, psychiatry, hospital medicine, and surgery. Now, each of those are fantastic in their own right, and there are different individuals who are better suited for one or more than one over the others. You don't actually need to decide where you're gonna end up until you're applying for training and finishing training. There are probably a few main reasons why I think I want to do surgery over those other practices, and I'm gonna break them down for you now. First of all, as a surgeon, you get an amazing amount of patient contact, but you also get a really good mixture of procedure-driven time, so time when you're doing procedures or surgeries, and a nice bit of clinic time. That's the time when you're sitting across a desk from a patient or talking to a patient about the surgery they will have or have had. I think that that mixture is gonna be really good for me when I'm practicing. I think when you're a medical student, it feels like medical school is the longest thing you're ever gonna do. I'm sure when you get into training to becoming a consultant doctor, then that feels like that's the longest thing you're ever gonna spend doing. 11 plus years normally from graduating medical school to becoming a consultant. Most doctors will be practicing for another 30 years after that. So you actually spend more time as a consultant than you do as a medical student and as a trainee. So in terms of planning your life, in terms of getting onto some kind of track that's gonna work for you for the majority of your life, considering the life of the consultant in that profession is probably one of the most important things you can do. And having spoken to a ton of consultant surgeons during my time as a medical student, I really see myself enjoying that role. Medical education is something I'm also very interested in and I would like to get involved as maybe a lecturer, maybe even a professor of surgery. Now these are obviously all very lofty goals and many of them will might be 40 years down the line from where I am now. While it's not absolutely necessary for me to start working on my application to surgery, which if I was gonna do it uh, the quickest I can, I would be doing in my F2 year, so within two years from now. Starting to build that portfolio as a medical student will really help me be competitive in my application. So the rest of this video is gonna be split into two parts. First of all, I'm gonna talk about the things that I've already done that I believe are gonna be beneficial in my application to surgery. And then the last part of the video is gonna be things that I am going to be doing in the next 12 months to build that application up. Let me know in the comments below if you are also thinking about becoming a surgeon in the UK and what you're doing to further your application. Easiest and quickest and the thing I would recommend every first year medical student do, if you're even considering surgery, scratch that. If you're considering being a doctor as a medical student, which 99.9% .9 of you will be, start a logbook. So that's a professional record of every single procedure that you've done. Now that doesn't mean that you have to be the person holding the scalpel. You might have scrubbed in and just held a retractor for two hours while another surgeon did something. When you're in your training as a surgeon, you need to log a certain number of particular operations and a certain amount of time. But as a medical student, you can also log the operations that you spend your time observing 
or even that you spend your time assisting. Starting an e-logbook, so an electronic logbook of all of the procedures that you've spent your time standing in or helping, is the easiest thing that you can do as a medical student to show that from early years you've had a commitment to wanting to do surgery. I only heard about logbooks about two weeks ago. If you start this in your first years, then even if you're not thinking about surgery, you have it there and you're going to be building it up and it shows commitment to medicine in general. The other very easy thing you can do as a medical student is to join your surgical societies. If you join there and you attend the lectures and events, which many of them are online and very easy to get to currently, it shows that you have a commitment and an interest early on in surgery and that you're doing something to further that interest. You could even go a step further and take part in essay competitions or as I've done previously in hackathons and then at the end you get a certificate or at least recognition of your participation. All of these things can go into a portfolio that you're building up to show that you're interested and committed to surgery. So what about the things that I'm going to be doing this year? Well first of all is research. Research it plays an integral role in your application to any field of medicine and there is an expectation that as a doctor you're going to be taking part in research. Now this could be from the level of a quality improvement project, something you're doing in your hospital or your clinical environment to try and improve the quality of care that patients are getting, right the way through to being involved in big meta-analysis studies. As a medical student, if you get involved with professors and lecturers and PhD students at your medical school, often you can get your name on a paper by contributing your time and there are lots of opportunities to take part in audits and quality improvement projects. Now whatever you do in terms of the research is going to be helping your applications but specifically if you're able to get involved in some kind of surgical research or surgical quality improvement project that will show that again from early years from your time in medical school you've been committed to surgery and you've been aware of what you need to be doing and you've been working on it. The next thing you can do is to plan a surgical elective. Now the elective is a period of time as a final year, normally, medical student. You get to have this period of time where you choose what you do. Many people, when there's not an international pandemic, choose to go internationally and if you choose to do your elective in a surgical specialty, then again it shows that you're interested and you're looking what's out there, what might be of interest to you as a surgeon when you're practicing. The last thing I'm planning on doing this year is some courses. So there are various courses that you can do as a medical student. Some of them you can't actually finalize and, and graduate from, if you like, until you've graduated medical school. But there are lots of things you can do to show that you're building yourself up, building yourself into being a surgeon. Core surgical skills is something that you can start to practice. You can go to various suturing workshops, for example, and you can do courses on things like leadership, management and clinical reasoning. If you're lucky enough to be a student studying in the UK, there are lots of free courses as someone who technically works in the NHS that you can access in your own time. So for example, there's a courses on leadership that you can do online, which give you a certificate and which is internationally recognized. By doing these courses, obviously there are non-surgical ones as well as surgical ones, anything that you're doing is showing that you're going above and beyond what's expected of a medical student. So to summarize, if you are just applying for medicine or maybe you're a first year medical student, the things that I would recommend you do, firstly, start a logbook, start logging any procedures and operations that you're witnessing. Secondly, join your surgical societies. And if there isn't one for some reason, then start one and start going to those talks, those lectures and entering those essay competitions. When you come to being in your last couple of years, you can start thinking about a surgical elective, you can start trying to get involved in some surgical themed research, and you can start thinking about doing those extracurricular courses like core surgical skills. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel to see more and comment below if you're gonna be doing any of these things with me.